Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. In today's video, we are going to answer one of your asked questions and that's how do you map a custom domain to a private Google Sites created with a private Google account. So let's dive into it now. I'm assuming that you've already created a Google site and that's easily done within Google Drive and that you've already purchased a domain name. Now, if you do not have a domain name yet, I highly recommend that you do that first and that you secure that name even before your website is created. Now, I've purchased my domain name with domains.google.com, but there are many others that you can use. Now, the first step is you're going to have to prove to Google that you own that domain. Now, you can find the Google Search Console by simply navigating to the link left in that description below or typing search.google.com slash search console. So let's go ahead and do that now. Now, once you're here, you'll notice in the top left corner, there is a drop down. And when you click on that, you will see all your properties. Now, these are all the domain names that you have access to at the moment. Now, we're going to add a property. So go ahead and click on add property. Now we're going to use the new option and that's the first option that is the domain. This is going to add all the subdomains and the www, so not just the naked domain. Go ahead and add your purchased domain name. Once you've done that, simply click on continue. Now, because I've used Google domains, there is a smooth integration and it automatically recognizes my domain as my property. However, if you've used a different domain provider, then you will be given some information to add to your own DNS records. These will have to be added as a TXT file and adding this verification to your TXT DNS records, you will be able to then verify ownership. Once this has been done, we are going to navigate back to our Google Sites. Now, the next step is to go into your Google Sites. Now, we're going to go into Google Sites and click on those three dots. Go ahead and put your custom domain right there and click on Assign. Now, if everything works well, then this has now been assigned. However, if you are not using Google Domains, there is an extra step that you need to do at a DNS level. So go ahead and log into your domain provider and then look at the DNS record. Now there's one more step we have to do and this is pointing our www subdomain to our website. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our DNS settings for our domain. We're going to add a custom record. Now this is going to be a www record. The type is CNAME and this is going to point to ghs.googlehosted.com. Go ahead and add this custom field. Now, as soon as you press publish on your Google Sites, all this will go live. Now, you will have to give it a little bit of time for those DNS settings to get populated. But once this is done, every new change you make to your Google Sites, as soon as you press on that publish button, it will go live on your custom domain mapped to your Google Sites. This was another tips and tricks by Apps Events and Acer. And I would love to hear in that comment section below which websites are you creating, which ones are you creating within G Suite, and which ones with a personal private account. Now, I will link in the description and the cards at the top to the video made on mapping within G Suite because this is a very different process. I hope you found this helpful and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.